comics. I really love it. Um, so I'm just going to show a quick road of how I'm getting at it. And I think with each comics I do, I, I, I'm learning a lot more, but it's still really learning about it. And what I'm really grateful for is, is to be a part, I'm a student here at SVA, to be a part of um, a community of comics, especially at the symposium, and just to get to read a lot of comics, and I'm really enjoying it. So, my word to comics, um, I used to be a dancer until I was 18, and I danced uh, professionally um, ballet, and I did it. Uh, and outside of ballet, I didn't have any any world. I was just doing it dawn to dusk, and when I came out, it was silence, and my muscles were deteriorating quickly, and I needed to find uh, some other kind of language. Um, and also love, because I didn't have time for boyfriends and stuff, so I think I essentially chose comics as the perfect medium that this is, I'm just going to show scenes of Tel Aviv and um, some people are selling comics and books. Okay. Um, it's just, this is a Tel Aviv comics festival and it's just a public medium that you can stand over somebody's stall and read his art while you're there because it's nice and quick and not a lot of text and just enough time to also, gives you enough time to hang around and hover until somebody, um, something happens. Um, so, <laughs> uh, that's, that's the reason I started, but I kept, um, so this is the stuff I was doing in art school. I had a very uh, weird evolution. I didn't. I would just gorilla draw over IKEA manuals. <laughs> 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 and uh, I met this guy. Um, and oh, th this was my teacher and uh, the one I showed the one I showed before and my inspiration. And he told me in my senior year that I'm not really suited for commercial illustration of any kind, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I should join this guy and just hang around with their group and have fun. So I started hanging out with this group. He, he's a really, um, he's he's someone that would walk around in Tel Aviv and just swipe you away to an, away to an adventure. Um, just say, hey, I'm going to carry this mattress around over my head for a few blocks when you come and so you join. Um, so I started, um, and they have this group of poets and artists, um, so they were quite handsome. And uh, they, so I joined them and started um, contributing art, and they take anything, they really don't censor, so I, I just could um, feel accepted even though I wasn't very sure what I was doing. And I started going, that's me in the and I started going to these things that they did, and I found my style through that. Um, uh, so they, they point a lot. I guess um, he's this sort of, he thinks of himself as someone like um, the lead singer of Pulp, um, whose name I just escaped me uh, Pulp. Jarvis Cocker. Yes, Jarvis Cocker. And um, so, that's me again. So I did these kind of illustrations showing all of their poets, and then I started um, started uh, getting my line. Uh, but before I started, uh, before I I found um, that I wanted to do illustration, I had this dream of being um, a writer, which is why I'm here in this program at SBA, which also contributes writer. I always wanted to write my own stuff. So this is an article that I wrote. And I also wanted to be a photographer, but I'm a really, I'm a really bad photographer. And I've, I've been um, using my grandparents as just doing weird <laughs> art school comedy <laughs> style. You know, <laughs> straight. Um, and doing these weird things where I would go to restaurants. <laughs>
grandmother again. I just wanted to show you it in context of the magazine. <laughs> okay, so I didn't, I knew, I, and this was after, well, I stopped dancing, so I, I sort of tell myself, I didn't have a lot of years to practice my visual um, expression, so it was weird, but... Um, but this, this was how I think came to do my first comic. Um, this is my roommate. I wrote, I wrote the story. Um, my roommate was a photographer in art school in Mazzella, and she thought this is a series of portraits, self-portraits that she did. Um, and I started, um, I got some advice from a teacher who told me, um, you know what, just, just go close to home. Like, stop thinking about, stop being weird, just do something real. And so I started drawing what she was, the portrait she was taking. So this is her, I really started documenting um, her, um, um, her, our room, this is our room, and this is her story. And that was my first novel, a uh, graphic novel. Oh, this is some old comics. I just wanted to show it just to, um, I was really in inspired in, by um, the adventure series by Tracy Muffet, who just took these weird tropical sets and photographed herself and had fun. Make, it's, a, it's not really a narrative. It's not, it doesn't really make sense, but it's sort of, it has a feel of an adventure without having a story, which is what I was always drawn to. Um, okay. So my first novel, my first graphic novel, was about three, um, my, this is my, the images are a little squished, but I don't know. Um, this is my roommate, her younger sister, and her older brother, and high school, and she's a film major, and she's a photographer. So they're all using photography and documentary for some ways, right? And so I was interviewing all of the three brothers to see how, how the, um, they use photography to, um, or if any of that, what they were going through reflects in their photography house, they would leave um, um, decapitated pig's heads mm -hmm. on the doorstep. And she, and she had, her father was the champion of um, those fairs where you shoot and get stuffed animals. And she, she, her room was filled with these stuffed pigs. And I drew the, the, the decapitated head. So this is her, um, her toy shelf, and it's full of these stuffed animals and pigs that her father brought her. And then I thought that leaving that bloody pig on their doorstep was just um, horrible. And so I started, there were three chapters to the book. This is their house. And I just started interviewing them. So um, I think this book is passed around. It's the one without the cover. It's the one, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I used, some, some of it were, um, this is drawings from her house, and I also used her photographs in order to, um, this is a photograph that she took, and this is my illustration of it, um, to sort of make it, enter it more into her world. And this was um, falafels and scenes from um, suicide bombing. This is uh, her photograph, and then I used it um, for this, um, this one. Um, this is her brother in a kimono, which is um, sort of speaking about the Japanese custom of dancing with the dead. Um, this is Linda. Oh, um, these are clotheslines. These are, um, um, I just imagine this series, um, there are always hands in these pictures of, um, she always talked about their city, Ramazgan, which is a suburb, sort of suburb of Tel Aviv, and how she really, she really loves the way some objects on the street look like mini houses, um, like juice carts, like they, they're, they're self, um, um, like an autarkic sort of system where you can have your nourishment and also wheels and even trash cans and especially these um, lottery booths 
that they look like little houses. Um, so, and then I started doing, um, her, oh, this for instance is a her self-portrait and I used it. This is her in the fridge. Yeah. Okay. So that's the first project. Um, so this was right when we were graduating, and it's the first time I felt like I was gaining some sort of control over storytelling. But and uh, and um, we had um, somebody come in for a master class. This is, by the way, it's not mine. It's Oleg's. But this is our school. It's better that I just wanted to show. Um, like Ella said, um, we live right, you can see from the school, you can see the settlements, you can see part of the wall, you can see part of the Dead Sea, uh, you can see um, Isolia and um, like Palestinian territories, and and you can see all the way miles and miles of desert, and it's, it's really, and I, I guess I would be the opposite, the complete opposite, artistic opposite of, well, not, my mission is the opposite of Ella because I uh, steer away from anything that's um, political, local. Um, I'm so afraid of making that political statement, it terrifies me. Um, and I guess even doing that book about my friend, um, it, I could, I never, that, the book that just passed around is the only copy left of it because after that they asked me to um, to uh, put it away because I was I, I got obsessed with my writing and I knew a lot about them and I wrote what I thought was really um, it was too too hard it took a toll and we, um, I guess any you need to be a very mature person and Andrea and Alexander had a nice podcast about memoirs uh, recently about telling, needing a sort of um, very um, very specific point of view and um, giving a narration to things that are real. It's not enough to just tell the real stuff. You need a narrative in order to take it away from the level where, where you're close and you're stabbing people with your words into something that's more, that's the story. So that was my last documentary project for now. And everything I've done ever since has become more of a surreal, 